Hi, this is Gary Kay. We're at day one at, at the ISC 2018. Um, we're at the SDVOE Alliance booth, and they're doing a side-by-side -side educational experience between one gig signal routing and distribution across a network versus 10 gig of 4K signals and uh, regular computer signals as well. So, Justin, take it away. Tell us what we're going about, about to be ready to see here. Yeah, what we're focused on here is the idea of network convergence, right? We've been promised for 20 years that AV and IT are converging. Uh, and the real value of that is when we can use a single infrastructure for AV and IT. That means one infrastructure to design, install, maintain, and manage, right? That's where the real cost savings come from. And we, we, what we want to show here is how that really can't happen, can't work uh, on one gig networks. So the demonstration I've got going here, uh, on the top I've got an AV system, on the bottom I've got an IT system. These machines are all connected to the same one gig network. Uh, and as you can see, I've got an AV uh, experience running. It's going fine, I guess. If we wanted to look at this closely, we'd see some one gig latency and one gig artifacts, but mostly it's working fine. Now here's the challenge. Somewhere down the hall from this conference room uh, is a guy working on his PowerPoint. He needs to download some large files from the server, and so he's just going to do what you do. He's going to grab a few files, drag them over to his machine, and uh-oh, while this file starts copying, I start to see the image skipping and stuttering. My computer's calculating. That's what happens with uh, PCs. There we go. There we go. Well, now the computer's caught up. It's starting to make this file transfer, and we see what's happened to the video. I get skipping, stuttering. Right? These one gig systems consume seven, eight, nine hundred megabits per second. If they get starved of that bandwidth, then they can't function correctly. And now people will say, "Oh, well, you didn't manage your network correctly. You need to use QoS, quality of service, and and set the priorities." Well, we can do that. I'm going to click the button here and say, "Look, let's set the QoS to prefer video." And look at that, now my video is running smoothly again, except what we see on the PC is now my file transfer speed has fallen off to nothing. It's going to take hours to copy these files. The point is, yes, you can, you can use QoS to, to set your priorities and manage the network, but you always still have to choose some compromise, right? Do you want to you're just saying it's a trade-off one way or the other. Right? Do you want to compromise the IT experience or do you want to compromise the AV experience? And neither one of those is a good choice. Now what people do is they say, okay, well, I'll build two networks. But now I'm back to building two networks, paying for two networks. And all of the cost savings, people say, oh, one gig is cheaper. Well, not if you're building two of them. Now here, of course, on the 10 gig side of things, we've got a very similar setup, but a 10 gig network, SDVOE uh, AV hardware. So I've got this flawless quality AV experience with zero latency. I've got a different PC connecting to a file server, pardon me. And then when I go drag these files and copy them over through my 10 gig network, Again, my PC likes to sit and think about what it's doing. Uh, but as soon as this file transfer starts, oh, it's starting. You see it's going to run at this great fast speed, and there's absolutely no interruption or impact to the image quality at all. So now my IT experience and my AV experience are both perfect as expected. Uh, and there's no interruption of one by the other. I mean, that's logical because you have a one gig network and a 10 gig network. And ultimately, I think it comes down to what you're saying is the, the infrastructure that exists now is not what it's always going to be. And that, it, uh, that network companies, I mean, companies are going to upgrade their network constantly. And so they're going to, since they're going to add more bandwidth anyway, you might as well go with less compression. That's it. Bandwidth is cheap and getting cheaper. You know, there's very little chance that, that one day, five or ten years from now, we look back and say, wow, yeah, one gig, that was it. I'm glad. We, we did it. We finally found it. We stopped. We don't need anything more. You are passionate about it. <laughs> This is, you are definitely passionate about this. Uh, I need to start asking you some opinions about different coffee shops and see if you're as passionate about that. And I want to ask you, is that the, the Fairmont Banff Springs Resort or is that just a Fairmont Hotel? What is that? That looks like a Fairmont. Uh, what's that called? The, I should know this as I live in Quebec now. That's the Chateau Fontenac in okay. Quebec City up over the Saint, the Saint Laurent River. Is that a Fairmont Hotel? I think kind of that it is at this point, but it's of course much older than that. Now it's now that's who owns it. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, anyway, I love I love the whole I love Canada, the Canadian culture, and we have a lot to talk about as far as that goes. But we're here for an AV show, and uh, that that uploading is still happening yeah, over we're here. Still, we're still going over here. But again, I can uh, I can just go ahead and set the priority. Now we've lost our AV, but uh, but watch the network's speeding right up. You are passionate about this. <laughs> they got the right guy. All right. Uh, check out all the SDVOE products, of course, that we're shooting here on the show for us. 35 companies, different products that are, that are on the market now um, at uh, sdvoe.org to see all the partners, ravepubs.com to see all the ISE products. Thanks for watching.